I'm in the car. So, I have a story for you. So a little bit ago, um, by a little bit, I mean, I don't remember how long it was. <laughs> I was being followed. Yeah, so it was nighttime. I was driving home and this truck with very dim headlights and what looked like to be a tinted windshield, but also it was dark, so I couldn't really see into the cab. He's following my every move for like the past five miles. Just to make sure he was following me, I took a random turn into a random neighborhood and then down a random street, just kept going, and he kept following me. He didn't even turn on his turn signals or anything, so I assumed he was following. So, you're probably wondering what I did then. Sorry, I'm trying to focus on driving. Uh, I went into this random roundabout that only had like three houses on either side, and I turned around to go back out of the street, and then I'm sure that's when he knew, I knew, that he's a psychopath. <laughs> Spit. So when I turned out of the roundabout, we kind of just stared at each other. And then he pulled into one of the driveways that was in the roundabout, and I drove away, and that was it. I never saw him again, probably. He probably sees me right now. He's probably in my back seat. We're good. So, either I was following him from the front, like some kind of psychic psycho killer, or the PP killer, if you will. So, I don't know. Maybe he had the cops on speed dial too. My car is way too clean for any weapons or got him. Maybe I should just start littering my car with baseball bats and ninja stars. What a big farm equipment you have, Grandma. Um, so, so much farm equipment. Maybe he's making the exact same video on the peepee -pee killer. I'm sure that's a name for something else that I just don't know. Um, so if you find his video, link it, maybe we'll collab. So, yeah, that was my story time for today. I don't recommend looking up peepee -pee killer, by the way. Uh, tree, stop scratching my car. Sit still for